So this time we're going to insert odd page section breaks. And the idea is that in this book that we have ahead, you can see there's 25 pages in our book. We want to force the first page of every new chapter to be on an odd numbered page. And if you open any book and you have a look, that's usually what the format is. So the first chapter is done for you. So I want you to see we're on page one here and when I come down here, chapter one, it says it's on page three. So where did page two go? So this is one thing is that when you force an odd page section break, sometimes it may look like you're missing pages. But if we were to come to the print layout, you can see here's page one. And if we scroll down page two, uh, page two, not sure it's going to let me do that, is, is blank. And, but it is there. If I hit my page down key on my keyboard, you'll see page two is blank, even though it says page three here. And then I pr press page down key again, and here we are. So just in case you ever notice that, uh, it looks like there is no page two, but there is. So the task that you need to do is to go to each new chapter. Now I did the first one for you and you can scroll down this way and find chapter two or I'm going to press control home or this is a time when you can use your navigation pane so you don't forget what that's about and it's going to find all of uh, the instances. So I'm looking down here and all these first ones are these colored ones here but where it starts with a chapter that's that's going to quickly bring me to the chapter 2 text here. So I need to put my cursor at the beginning here and I need to do a layout breaks uh, section page, a uh, section break, excuse me, odd page. So right now you can see that chapter two is on page four. And once I click this, it's going to bump it down to chapter five. And I'll just make this red, which I believe I asked you to do. Let me just go check. I'm going to do control home. So, uh, well, it doesn't say to make it red, so I guess it doesn't matter. And it tells you there's one more task. Uh, so we'll do that. Control end. And when finished, do a control A to select all the text and put a first line indent on all the paragraphs. Okay, so don't forget to do that. And that's how you do an odd page section break.